Okay, so let's take a look now. You've got your main page ready, you got your theme chosen, you're, you're in good shape, it's time to add some more content to your, your website. So we're gonna go over here to the pages and maybe you've already navigated this already, and that's perfectly fine. And we can start to add more pages to our Google site. And so what you do when you're in pages is you have this plus button right here, and you can do two things. One, you could link to a URL, or you could add a new page. And so this new page here, um, maybe I just want to give this a, a place for my bio. I'm just making these things up here on the fly. Um, I'm going to call this level Lego. All right, and then maybe we can all have like period, or oh, let's, let's call it, uh, you know, my U.S. history class, whatever, just for example. So we can create these. You're going to notice that they're showing up over here. The other thing is with this default menu, um, it starts to show up up top as well. So any of these things in the first tier will show up as you go across. So that is how we can create pages. But let's say I do this and I start to create these pages, but I want the bio to be um, up front right away. So I can literally just take one of these pages and you can see here now I can drag and organize it the way I want. And now bio is right next to home. So you can reorder these pages however you want as you're creating content and you keep adding more and more. You can organize and shuffle them or maybe it's as, as new things develop and you want those up front, that sort of thing. The other feature that's pretty nice too is you can start to nest these pages. Um, so what I mean by that is, let's just say, um, so I call this Lego 1 here for example. Let's say under my love of Lego, I want to have a build challenge. I could take this website here and I can just drag it. See how that we get that blue rectangle around that? And when I put it in there, you now see I have a little drop down menu and that page is now embedded underneath. You'll also notice that I have a little arrow, a little carrot for a drop down menu for those pages as well. So I can start to nest pages within pages. Um, and I think at the time of this recording, you can nest five levels deep. So you don't want to get too crazy, but there is a time and place for that. So the last thing that I, I'll show you, and I'll give you a, a better example of, of this, is any of these pages, you'll notice you have those three dots that we see so much with Google. And if I click those three dots, I get some options. Uh, the first one, I could take this page and make it the home page. So if I want to make something the landing page, I can do that. If I have a website page created that I want to use over and over, once I kind of build that template, I could duplicate that page. It's going to ask me to rename it, and it'll look exactly the same. And so this is very helpful, and I'll show you here in a second. You could also go to Properties. And you can change the name of the website. Just remember that if you're giving links to a website early on and you change the name, those links will be broken. So um, just be aware of that. Uh, and then the other thing that you can do is you can add a sub page, kind of like what we just did with the nesting. You're going to see that it's going to pop it. Um, I'll just call this sub page so you can see it. All right, see how it automatically drops that down to a tier. So if I don't want to drag in, I could do it that way. Um, I could also delete a page whenever I want to that delete. Your other options in here is to hide it from navigation. So the page can be live, you have access to it, whoever you give a link to, can you still use the site or still use that page? But it's not accessible up in the menu. Like there's no way for people to access it unless they have the direct URL link. So you notice I have this Lego one hidden. That carrot up here now is gone. So people can't access that page. I could, however, still share that page out if I wish. So an example here, here is my Lego website that we've been building out where I do build challenges each week um, during this quarantine time. And what I've done is I have a, a menu here. Here's the, the first tier is our just the May overview website. So this is a, a main page that's right up here at the top in the header. And you can see that I have drop down menus and I've got links to different things. You can see the layouts, you can see all the different stuff to get people to join into the challenge itself. But then down here, I have links to each of the themes and that actually correlates over here to these pages, a theme one, theme two, and theme three. So this week here, I'll just take you here to the food page. This is a, a second tier website that has everything needed for this week around to build themes around food. So I've got the videos, i got all that stuff there, 
And then you can see that I have then further links to each of the individual builds that they unveil. Now in my production, I create all this ahead of time. So I have all five builds for this week already done. I have taken this M11 fruit page, which looks like this. And when I created it, I just duplicated it four more times. So every page looks exactly the same. It's a very simple thing. I just go in and change the title. I change what I write here and I change the image. I've been doing this for months now. But you can see that I have these pages here, vegetable, already created. It's ready to go, but I have it hidden so that people can't access it until I make it go live. So this allows me to do a lot of forward thinking, forward planning, get stuff, everything ready to rock and roll. So I'm not trying to create and make it go live at the same time. I'm always in production. I'm always ahead of the game so that when the time is ready, I'm ready. Um, so this just gives me time to kind of play around with that. And you can see that that's, once again, these pages are a third tier, they're the third tier in. Um, so when we go live on this website, okay, you're going to notice here, um, here is the, the May challenge. Here are these different themes. So if we were to go here to the food theme, all right, we can see this work here and then there's no access to these other builds, even though they're ready to go, but I can go to the submission and it's going to then navigate over to this build. So just to give you an idea of what one of these looks like. So your challenge now is to go back to your, your demo site, start to add in some pages, start to get those organized, see if you need to get them nested, maybe build a template and duplicate that a couple times to say you have three preps, you want each prep page look the same in terms of flow, and then add your, obviously your differentiated content. Um, I want you to work on now adding a few pages to get your website organized. And this would also be a good time to make sure that your theme and your colors and all that stuff look the way you want it. Uh, because up to this point, I would then strongly urge you maybe not to mess with that so much. All right, my friends, as always, stay awesome. Peace.